All right, guys, what's growing on? So this morning, I wanted to give you a little bit of a fall update here on my animal system. And one of the biggest things I wanted to share with you is my man Gordon over here is making a little noise. We have named our geese here on the farm. So that is an African guard goose. That one's Gordon. One over here is Drillbit. Can't really hear Drillbit, but he'll be making some noise here in a minute. Um, one of the most exciting and coolest things I think I've realized here in the last month or two is I have not cut the grass here in this field in almost a year. Um, this, this field used to take me probably an hour, hour and 20 minutes just to cut the grass here on a weekly basis. Um, this is Bahia, there's no irrigation out here. We don't fertilize this. My goose starting to make some crazy noise right now, so I'm gonna start shifting over this way, but you know, until we put animals on this, we had no fertilizer out here. We've never watered this. When we get a drought, it turns brown. Um, typically this grass, if I don't cut it like every 10 days in the summertime, you know, I have to double cut it because the mower struggle, struggles to even get through it. So just by rotating these animals and moving this fence throughout this field through the summer has completely stopped me from doing any kind of cutting in the grass out here. So that cage or that fencing setup is ready to shift over to the left. Um, and this guy's ready to start coming this way. I have not moved the chickens in almost a month. These are my broilers and this is kind of my breeding batch. We've actually got some eggs in the incubator right now. And these are our egg layers and they're probably about a month and a half from laying eggs. So just starting to get there. They're mostly Easter eggers. And this goose is definitely a little bit more protective and neither of these goose have actually ever nipped me. Um, we think we have a bobcat living here on the property. We know we have a really strong fox population in the neighborhood. We hear the coyotes go crazy around here at night. In our first couple of years of living here, we had tons of predator problems. We lost a couple of flocks. We probably lost about 60 birds to predators. So having this electric netting, having that goose is an absolute game changer if you want to raise meat birds, if you want to raise egg layers, if you want to have any types of animal on your farm, absolute game changer. Um, everybody keeps asking me every video what we use for the fencing. That is a Premier One um, electric netting with the solar charger. I had a link in the last video. I'll put it in this one again for you guys too. So this wanted to give you an update. And I think the most exciting part is coming from that long guy back around and just coming about, you know, coming from somebody that just really values his time. He's really normally quite really busy. I don't have time to be out here cutting the grass every week for an hour, hour and a half. So, you know, not only has this system started to build soil for us, not only is this system providing high quality meat that you cannot buy in the grocery store. You know, high quality eggs you cannot buy in the grocery store. Um, we're building soil out here and I'm not having to cut the grass. So for me, that is super exciting. Um, and I'll get you some of that overhead drone footage from a few months ago when we were still getting the rains and things looked really green. So Robbie, my editor, go ahead and drop some of that B-roll from when I was flying over top because you can literally see from where I've moved these tractors, and I say tractors, but these coops across the field and basically I drag that coop, a full coop length every day when I go in there, putting them constantly on some fresh grass, but you could see the trail of dark, dark green from dragging that coop across the field. They're really quite amazing. So. Um, here's the Centropic system over there, and I'm gonna leave that for a video in itself. But I can give you a little sneak peek teaser. Jim Kovaleski's back. I already shot a video at his house. He's coming over to help me do the final cut for this year, and I probably won't be cutting that again until spring, and then come springtime, we're gonna try a little bit of tilling and getting some of that Mombasa in the areas I didn't get it established. So everything is coming along here. I've got about 30 emails about these aluminum coops. There's a guy by the name of Bob down in Fort Myers that makes these. I found him on the Facebook Marketplace. Um, if you can't find him on the Facebook Marketplace and you happen to be in that area, drop me an email. I'll give you his contact info. Bob's an awesome guy. I actually just got a third one. I don't know if you could see it, but way over there in the distance and it doesn't have a roof on it yet and it's slightly skinnier and I had him add some support bars in it just to make it a little easier to move and working on getting a third crop or a third flock here going very soon so this one is super friendly this is gordon he actually likes to be pet i think he talks to me let's see if we can get a little goose love action going on here hey good morning dude can i get a what up what up come here you want to show them how you like to be pet yeah yeah my boy my boy whoa he's looking like he wants to bite me today Dude, seriously? I thought we were tight, man. I thought we were tight. All right, so he looks like he's like 10 or 15 pounds. I actually do pick him up all the time. The idea being I kind of want to create like that alpha with him so he doesn't bite or nip. This is the first time he's ever come at me. 
I don't know if he's a little bit pissed off today or what the deal is, um, but normally I pick him up, I pet him, and those feathers are really, really fluffy. He probably only weighs a few pounds. He's not 10, 15 pounds like he probably looks. Um, I, don't, I don't think the chickens are actually much heavier or actually much lighter, should I say. What's up, dude? Hey, girls. Oh, man. All right, you don't want to mess with Gordon. He's not uh, in a good mood this morning. As you can see, I still have a bit of a mulch mountain here. Um, we've slowed down the amount of mulch that's coming in. We're using this on the paths all the time. We seem to have appeased the neighbors here with this buffer we put in. And I hear this goose coming around behind me. I don't know what his deal is today. Gordon, seriously? You ain't gonna show me no love? Come here, big guy. Come here. Can I get some of that? Are you gonna bite? Are you gonna bite? He can pinch a little bit, but he's not gonna hurt me. What's up, big dude? All right, guys, so I have not cut the grass here in a year. We're building some soil. I'm not buying chickens anymore. We don't buy eggs. Not like I was buying many eggs before. I was buying my chickens from a local farmer, um, but the difference in quality is just night and day. So coolest part of this is, like I said, haven't cut the grass in a year, so game changer. I've done a couple of other videos on my animal system here, on the coops, on the rotation process, what we feed them waters, all of that, etc. Links will be in the description down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and do so. Most importantly, you guys know what we do around here? We pound dirt.